Kwok. On the ground from Galvanize, San Francisco, it's The Cube. Covering Amplify Women's Pitch Night. Now, here's Jeff Frick. Welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are at Galvanize in downtown San Francisco at the Girls in Tech Amplify event and it's Women's Founder Pitch Night. 10 companies have gone through a long process pitching to VCs to, uh, to get some big funding and also I think there's a $10,000 prize that's going to be won tonight, some computers and some other fun stuff. So we're joined by our next guest, the co-founder and CEO of Indian Moms Connect, uh, Preeti Chand Chandrasekhar. Chandrasekhar. Welcome. Thank you, thank How, you for having me. How'd your pitch go downstairs? Um, um, it was okay, and I don't know how it exactly <laughs> went, but we'll see. We'll find out. So tell yeah. us about Indian Moms Connect, about uh -huh. your business. Uh, Indian Moms Connect is mainly working towards representative content and media for the global Indian mom. So whether she lives in India or in the rest of the world as part of the Indian diaspora, uh, we speak to her. And are you, in, in, are you initially going after Indian moms all over the world, or are you, uh, are you concentrating here in the States, or where are you kind of getting started? Um, world is a big place for a startup. Right, so we started just putting uh, stories out there, and we found that uh, actually the world did congregate <laughs> did. on our blog, where uh, moms that were living away from India, they kind of found the stories that resonated with them, so they were there, and then the urban Indian mom, who again, for her, um, the family system that she's used to is breaking down as she moves into cities and where, um, you know, it's not the traditional family system, so she looks on, on the internet for stories as well. Okay. Or shared experiences. Okay. And it resonated with her as well, so we have readers and contributors from US, India, UK, Australia, Middle okay. East, Singapore. So, and really kind of taking the place of, of, of kind of the traditional support system if they were back at home, right. it's not really there as they're in right. different and countries and places all over yeah, the world. Yeah, traditionally the grandmothers and the aunts, they congregate and they tell you exactly what to do and then now you're just like finding uh, what to do based on where you live. Right. And when you're trying to find those answers, you, you know, the internet is their friend and you go out there and in, when you find, try to find these answers, some of them really don't apply. Uh, for the question that you're asking. Uh, for example, my daughter was born in Madison, Wisconsin, where I was experiencing a blizzard for the first time in my life, and I had a winter baby, and uh, you know, all my mom's recommendations are for the tropics. You don't like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you cannot uh, do that in Madison, Wisconsin. So I have to find like a balance between uh, what I can do there versus what are the traditional recommendations right. versus just finding a new path of what works for you. Right. And these are the stories that we share. Wow. So it's a community site, so you share stories and advice, and then is there products, other services, kind of what, what is kind of in the package? Right, so the community comes together and they share the story, so it's all user-generated content okay. on the blog. Okay. We also have a marketplace where unique products that are resonating with this audience, whether it is uh, ethnic clothes and jewelry to uh, language apps and bilingual uh, books, uh, they can find a place and we cross market it on the blog post as uh, product embeds. Okay. And we have our own product, which is the IMC's treasure box, which is a subscription box service. We curate and handpick a children's picture book. We build a, a craft activity around it, and then we tie it to a scale of the month, and we do it for two age groups, preschoolers, as well as uh, kindergarten through grade two. Okay, and that's like a subscription service that they sign up and they get this new box, yes, comes every month with a new yeah, theme. Yeah, with a new theme. So, okay, so. and then kind of history of the company, how big is it, kind of where are you on, on the growth of the company? So we started the marketplace and the treasure box last year in 2015. Uh, and the blog has been around for uh, five years now. We just now five years, like yeah, okay, five years. So initially, we just started like just writing our stories out there with okay. no intention of making it a company. It was just um, us doing what we thought best, like on a weekend night, we just writing stories. And we found that by 2014, 2015, things were growing on their own with no effort from our side. And we thought we are onto something here. Like this demographic needs this kind of content right, and right. Uh, they need these kind of products and right. that's something we discovered for ourselves as we and then that's when we decided to go full time and uh, see if we'll, we'll be find success as a company yeah so. it's great to see the growth so on the on like the box service do you have other revenue sources beyond the box or do you affiliate marketing and those types of things yes the blog does give us uh, about 20 percent of our revenue comes from the blog okay we have uh, sponsored posts we have the banner ads we have affiliate we have we also have a podcast, so we do run ads on them. So okay. Uh, yeah. And what do you want to do with the growth capital? What's it going to enable you to do that you can't do now? 
Um, it's going to help us scale. Uh, so we're we're looking to scale our subscription box service now, and it's going to help us like get to the next level. Uh, we just did our first round of testing the market, seeing what works, what doesn't work. Now we are ready to go out and talk about the product everywhere, and we need money to be able to do that. So. <laughs> That, that's where we are. All right. Well, very exciting. I mean, it's it's great to have the organic growth, and I'm sure the the investors, you know, like to see that 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 it is growing because people have a real interest. You, you know, you touch the nerve and providing service people want, and right. that, that's right. ultimately the best type of funding. Yes. It's, just, uh, <laughs> no, it's tough to grow sometimes so. out of the out of the operational cash flow. Right. 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 Yes. That, All right. That for sure. Well, good luck, and Thank uh, thanks for taking a few minutes. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking with Absolutely. me. Absolutely. All Thank right. You. So that's yeah. Preeti from Indian Moms Connect. Where can people go to learn more? Uh, uh, www.indianmomsconnect.com or our Twitter is imomsconnect. All right, pretty straightforward. Well, again, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching The Cube from Galvanize in downtown San Francisco. Thanks for watching.